You know how sometimes it feels like life just happens? You know, just random things seem to fill your day. Things with little or no consequence to anyone else. I mean, I know God's in control of my life, but I never really saw how much he was weaving my story with other people's stories, and really, into his story. Well, that's all changed. It was a cold day, the kind where you really don't want to have some long conversation outside with someone, especially with someone you don't really know. But that's exactly what God had in mind. Amy and I had just eaten lunch at Dumplin's downtown Franklin, and we were walking to the car and we see this couple that I thought I recognized from church. It would have been awkward just to walk by them and not say anything, so we stopped and said hey and did the whole, yeah, yeah, you guys go to fellowship thing, whatever. Well, we start talking and the whole Dave Ramsey thing comes up. They asked us where we were in the process, and I told them that so far we paid off 60000 but still had $10,000 left to go. They asked us what we would do when we were debt-free, and I laughed and told them, well, I told my kids I'd buy them a trampoline, but we really wanted to adopt, and we committed to being debt-free before we did. The whole conversation only lasted about three minutes. It was like, nice to meet you. That was random. Well... The next day, that random person shows up at my office with this brand new trampoline. I couldn't believe it. It was like my kids are going to freak. I set it up that night and my kids jumped on that thing for four hours. I mean, we didn't even know these people. They didn't have to do that. I mean, really, that's pretty generous. Well, the next day I get an email from the same lady saying, oh, you guys seem like a sharp couple and we'd love to come by and talk to you about something. I emailed her back and said, that sounds like a multi-level marketing proposal. And if it was, we really weren't interested. Of course, she says it's not that sort of deal, but she was really persistent. She even called Amy. Amy had been sick and it really wasn't a great time to have company over. Her house is a wreck and we didn't feel like picking it up. We said everything short of, please don't come over to my house. So they show up and I'm like, here we go. Let's get this over with. Don't say yes to anything. I couldn't believe they sunk their claws into us with that trampoline to get us involved in some pyramid scheme. Anyway, so we small talked for about five minutes, and then right when I thought they were about to drop the bomb, they did. But it wasn't the bomb I was expecting. So the lady says, well, we told you we'd only be a few minutes, and I really don't know how to say this, but we want to pay off your $10,000 left in debt so you guys can adopt. She pulls out her checkbook and goes, how do you spell your guys' names? What? Are you kidding me? Are you for real? I mean, who does that? Who writes somebody a check for $10,000 and gives it to people they don't even know? So they give us a check and they said, just don't act weird around us at church and just don't tell anybody it was us. And they drove off. I mean, Amy and I stood there for 10 minutes in total shock. And we cried and we screamed. And we ran all over the yard and the house. Unbelievable. I mean, seriously, it was beyond belief. We realized nine months later when we brought Malaya home, the check they wrote us was dated nine months prior to Malaya's due date. They gave us that money right about the time our daughter was conceived. It was like God was saying, I have a baby out there for you right now. I'm not waiting around another two years for you to pay off that debt. We felt called to adopt, but we simply couldn't afford to do it on our own. We found that this random couple had already adopted four children and felt a calling to continue to serve through adoption. Rather than bringing more children into their home, they decided to help others adopt. It didn't just happen. It wasn't random at all. God knew his plan. He had just invited us to walk with him through this process. He was weaving our callings, our stories together for us to love and to care for each other, to make a beautiful tapestry for his glory. Thank you, Jesus.